Hello, my fellow peeps. Momo here, and welcome to episode 8 of my another code slash trace memory playthrough. Um, in between episodes, I was uh, uh, not looking at a guide and um, <laughs> uh, was finding some uh, death cards I didn't find through um, the other episodes. So, I thought we would start off this episode by uh, reading the the ones we haven't um, read yet. So, let's start off with uh, 902. Card, card number 902. Richard's memo. My solitude has made me aware of some small changes in me. Inex inexplicably, <laughs> I've developed the habit of humming to myself whilst I walk around the mansion. Me? Humming? I'm having a hard time believing it. The song is always the same. It's the song that was playing on the radio in the cafe where I met Sayako for the first time. Whenever I realize I'm humming that song, I remember that day. All it took was one look from her, and my world stood still. I fell deeply in love with her from the moment she first looked at me. When I remember that day, even for a moment, my loneliness disappears. Aww. Card number 903. Richard's memo. Lately I've been wandering through the mansion for a change of pace. I like to find the most comfortable sofa or the best bed to nap in. Or the or the room with the most interesting decora decora <laughs> de decorative style? Oh. I, uh, I start each day with my work goal in mind, but I often get distracted from my research as I, and I start to think about all the people who used to live in this mansion. More often than not, I think about the girl named Franny. I suppose it's because she reminds me of my dear Ashley. It makes me miss her even more. I wonder if Ashley remembers me at all. Ashley, note, must take care of the red prob problem in the porter sludge. <laughs> um, yeah, that was all the, the cuts I found. <laughs> it was only two, so. But I will try to keep a keep an eye out. Okay, so the la wh where we left off last, we uh, played a little music box and it uh, revealed this hidden room. So we're going in here to see what it is. Okay, so it's uh, some sort of uh, what's it called? Pol <laughs> ah, <laughs> I forgot the English words, but it. But it's called Pultekammer in Danish. So. Um, storage room, I think. There's a suitcase on the shelf. I wonder what's in that suitcase. I can't reach it. Uh, reach the shelf. Maybe if I threw something at it. Nice hint there. Um, there's a big wooden box. Oh, all right. There's an old frame. Mm -hmm. There's. A covered wooden box. There's something in the box. Perfect throwing material. It's a baseball. Oh, a baseball? Hmm? I love baseball. I used to play catch with my father all the time. Really? Got a baseball. Right, so let's uh, chuck that baseball at some wooden boxes. Oh yeah, the baseball. I'll use it to knock the suitcase down. Right, so uh... Eh. God damn it. <laughs> eh. <laughs> God. No! <laughs> I am not doing well for myself here. Eh. There we go. The 
suitcase fell down. It's a shoe. It's an open suitcase with a shoe. Oh. Inside the suitcase, there's only a shoe. Huh? What's wrong, D? Ashley, that's my shoe. But what's your shoe doing here? I don't know. It's all. It almost looks like someone hid it there. I don't know why someone would do that. But maybe you're right. D. I got the issue. Well, that's all well and good, but uh, how? What? Where do we go from here? Um. Is there anything else? Oh. There are some objects in the box. Matches! Finally! <laughs> There's some matches in the box. They aren't too damp to use. Maybe they'll come in handy. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, so what's this? On the box, there are two old photos. Ashley, those were taken in the hallway. See? Franny is in, is in this one. And that's Wells in the other one. D, I have an idea. I think I know if we compare the two photographs, maybe the key will. Uh, maybe they will tell us the secret of the hallway. So, what's the difference between two photos? It is Le Candle. Cause the candles. So actually I didn't see. <laughs> um it has to be <sighs> Okay, so the first, the third, and the first the fourth. Right. Gotcha. So yes. Uh I'm going to cut it here for just a moment so be right back and we're back okay so I uh, I was uh, just looking up not looking at a guide <laughs> to see if uh, we were on the right path to um, to the good end and um, in this game the way you trigger the good end in uh, contrast to the bad end is to trigger um, as many of these memories as possible and uh, I think I'm on the right path here. Um, so, um, <laughs> um, and uh, if if I'm not, then uh, then I don't know. I think I might, uh, anyways, do like a playthrough of screen just to uh, get the other end, maybe. But I don't know. Let's see. So uh, yeah, uh, we got what we had to do from this room, and now we can light the candles at the end of the. D. Since we found D's shoe, he's been acting strangely. Oh no, does this mean? No, no I don't think so. <laughs> D, did you remember anything? Ah, I get so worried because. Uh, the last few times I played this game, I actually got the bad end because I didn't take the time to trigger everything. I think. <sighs> okay, let's uh, let's use the matches. I really want the good end, the end for this. Okay, I used the matches. So this, this one, and this one, and this, this, and this. There we go. Yes, we opened the hidden door. Well done. 
I'm sure that just in here. Your father will be waiting. Yes. Let's go, D. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I should repeat <laughs> repeat important things in my head to remember them. Whilst looking for that and trying to find these memories, we walked through a hallway and into the art room. There was an old drawing of Franny in the art room. The person who drew the picture was... Uh, Henry? Yes. <laughs> Henry is Franny's father. He said it was Henry who drew the picture of Franny. There was another drawing in the art room. It had Dad's signature on it. The drawing was of... Uh, Ashley. Yes, my dad drew a picture of me. Or rather, he drew who he imagined me to be. After I read my dad's message on the desk card, we walked around the mansion looking for his research lab. In Franny's room, I discovered... Uh... Dee's father's name? Yes. Uncle Thomas. Right. Dee remembered his dad's name when we were in Franny's room. His name was Thomas. After that, Dee began to remember things little by little, but my dad is still nowhere to be found. Where's this research lab? In the bookcase in Henry's study, we found a key for the music room. I played the music box by using the angel doll, which triggered the fireplace in the study to move. We found a hidden room behind it. In the hidden room, there was a suitcase. Inside it, we found a shoe. Yes, we found a shoe inside the suitcase. It was Dee's shoe. I have no idea why Dee's shoe was hidden in that room. Neither does Dee. Will the next hallway hold the answer? Will I finally find Dad and Jessica there? Alright. Now I won't forget. The reunion with the father. Hey! Smells like something's burning. Yes, I smell it too. Can ghosts smell? <laughs> okay, let's see. There is a picture on the wall. Snap. The boy on the left looks older. The boy on the right looks younger. <laughs> right. Um. Fireplace? There's a fireplace. The smell is coming from here. It's a lot. God damn it! I was po pointing at the thing. There's a burnt paper in the fireplace. The paper has writing on it. Part of it is burnt to uh, too burnt to read. Increasing chance implement fabricated memories merging. Using another replay memory. However, in uh, in practice, another. This is an essay on another. I got the burnt essay. There is only ash in the fireplace, right? Um, is there anything else I can look at? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, let's see. I think we should look around this room a bit more. <laughs> I was planning to, 
Uh, I just wanted to, to see if there was anything else. Okay, so let's look at this paper. An old newspaper is on the table. The newspaper is 11 years old. The newspaper is dated 10-5. The article reads, Scientist dies, motive unknown. On the night of the 9th of May, Dr. Psycho Robbins, 28, of MJ Labs, was fatally shot in the chest at her home. Psycho's young daughter, Ashley, 3, was hiding in a wardrobe in the house at the time of the shooting and sustained no physical harm herself. First at the scene was the victim's husband, Dr. Richard Robbins, 30. He has sub subsequently been brought in for questioning by the authorities, as the chief suspect based on all the evidence currently available. So my mother is dead. She was murdered. Oh, I'm remembering that dream I always have. The one about the night of my third birthday. Mom and I were sitting in the kitchen, waiting for dad to come home. On the table was a cake with three candles on the top. And next to it, there was a teddy bear with a red ribbon. Then, someone came in. You can't have another. I heard mom's mom shout that and then oh Ashley hmm. what's wrong mm -hmm. Ashley it's nothing Sleep. Mm. Well, that sucks Ashley, what's wrong? Mm. I can't tell... I, I can't tell anymore. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What do you mean? It wasn't just a dream. I remember now. What do you remember? I'm just like you. I saw it all. Mom was drenched in blood. It was red everywhere. She was on the floor, dead. Ashley. That newspaper said that my mom was murdered. Ashley. And according to the article, the person who killed my mom might have been dead. I didn't come all this way here to find that out. Ashley, I've had enough. Ashley, no, really, enough. I want to go home. But where? What? Where will you go? Listen to me, Ashley. Why did you come to this place? To see my dad. To see him, why? I wanted to hear the truth from him. Well, your father is waiting. Let's go find him. D. Don't forget the way you felt when you first came to this island. Your father will be able to explain what happened to your mother. But. It's only natural to be afraid, but the truth is nothing to be scared of. Real sadness comes from not knowing the truth. I should know. Come on, Ashley. Your father is waiting. D. What do you want to do, Ashley? 
You're hard on me, D. Hm? Because you're telling me the truth. Are you coming? You're right. Ashley. Come on, let's go. Dad is waiting for me. noise I'd have to be deaf not to it's loud where's where's it coming from the counter I think counter 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 let's look around <laughs> the chair <laughs> um yeah <laughs> it. there is something on the table it's a bottle. The bottle is open and a glass. The glass is, glass is half full mm. or half empty. Mm. There is a radio on the counter. That noise is coming from this radio. How can I turn it off? Um. Ah, sweet silence. After we turned the static off, the radio played a pleasant tune. I know this song. It's called The Miracle of the Blue Moon. Hmm, I've never heard it before. My father liked this song. It was popular long before you were born. I see. Hey, someone's coming. It's you. Your Ashley. My Ashley. And that's where I'm going to leave it off for this episode. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to tune in in the next episode where we find out is this our dad? Is it? Maybe. Probably. But I will see you in the next episode. So until then, stay curious. <laughs>